hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to create a registration module okay for the admin purpose so like in admin panel we need a registration like um, more than one admin so they can use like multiple things okay so guys so for that we have to uh, do the coding okay so let's get started with this so let's start with the coding part so guys as normal thing uh, inside the admin this is a second step guys so this is the second part where we are going to create a registration module so i have created a registration register.php file okay so inside that i have included the header and navbar and the simple footer and script file okay so guys uh, this is a simple table okay where i have included it so this is my table hmm? and this is a table end so there is no data in this because we didn't create any registration okay so for uh, model pop-up so I have taken the uh, one model thing uh, pop-up model so that I have pasted at the top okay so I'll show you from where did I bring this so let's go to getbootstrap.com type modal okay you will get the model okay click on this so I have already clicked over here so guys I will show you the demo now uh, where is that actually okay let's search for this model modal model components and how it works so guys yes launch a model so we can launch this okay so just need to copy this and copy this code okay and inside that model body I have pasted the form okay so it's over here so I just I have copied the code and this is the button okay this is the button I have given the ID admin profile and the ID for the model pop-up okay done so inside this model body I have pasted my input types okay so just username that is text and email password and confirm password okay so see here confirm password I have given the name right so guys now what we have to do is that uh, suppose if you are using in a new te text box so you need to add the cdn links okay or you can download this copy this file and copy this js okay and add it at the top of your things okay file uh, but I have added already okay so script and all so this javascript like this see here so these are the script this is jquery so I have already done with that so guys it is over here okay so yes okay let's get started with this so guys as normal I'll close this okay so yes so when I click on this submit button registration button it goes to the form action code.php okay with the pattern post with this values right so these are the values so let's go to code.php where is that code.php it's here okay so simple so let's start with that coding part so open php and close php okay so as normal if statement will give if is set of dollar underscore post of what your button okay so this is the button let me close this it's confusing okay so this is the f end form and this is the start form okay so I'm taking this button copying and pasting it over here right so done open the curly braces and create a variable called username username is equal to dollar underscore post of post of what your values so this value just take this value username and paste it over here okay done and next value is email okay so like this only you have to do it according to it so I'm going to paste four times and copy this email password confirm password okay so that is 
email password and confirm password okay so this also variable also will change email password and C password okay done and now what we have to do is that do the query okay so I'm going to create a variable called query name query is equal to as simple we'll write the SQL command so insert into your table name that is register so I have created one register table okay and uh, the column names with the values that which we give from the form okay so the values is like username username comma email comma password okay so there are three fields but here this is for confirmation of password so for this we will do this now okay so first let's insert the values that is username comma dollar email comma dollar password okay so this is a password uh, w o r d okay so it should be correct password email and username okay so it's done and now let's run this query so query run is equal to mysqli query so mysqli query is nothing but dollar connection comma dollar query okay so let's give this so dollar connection means you have to give your database connection okay so let's give the connection over here just start with the simple thing mysqli connect okay so mysqli connect I'm going to connect the database that is local host comma and uh, password is root I mean username root password is empty and my database name is admin panel okay save and query runs so with the simple thing if this dollar query runs okay show me the output else it should show me the error okay so echo not saved and here echo save right so but this is the not correct way so we will use some session over here okay so dollar underscore session where I'm going to store the value of this session so that is called SSCC ESS success is equal to admin profile added okay so then give header location right that is location colon register register dot php right so, so a quick statement will not work over here and let's copy this and paste it over here admin profile not added okay and this will mention as date test done okay so it's let's save this and uh, what we have to do is that yeah when you're using session so you have to start the session CSS ION session start okay close this and now we are using confirm password right so for that if okay so if 
dollar password triple equal to dollar c password okay then execute this else else show me the status what it is okay like password and confirm password does not match okay and let's get to the registration dot php done okay so guys this is a simple code for the registration thing so let's save this and check the name okay so i have already created the table called register okay and id is primary that is auto incremented username email password okay so username email password done it's correct password fine so if it is done means it will save okay so already there is one data i have entered it for the testing purpose but uh, now i'm going to ag again enter it enter it now so guys let's reload this and add admin profile so i'm going to tell username funda funda at gmail dot com one two three four one two three four so let's save this and it got redirected back to the register dot php because we have given at the code register dot php at the success at the error also and at the password also but we want to know the status that is added or profile not added or password or it's missing something else okay so for that we will do it now so guys first let us check whether the data is stored i'm going to reload the page and see that data is added or not so guys it is added funda okay so funda what happened okay oops okay so it is added now so guys the main thing is that we want to display the uh, message okay so that is whatever we have done with this okay so guys as a simple thing i will tell you one so to do this let's go to we want to view at the register page right so at this page I want to display this below this okay so let's go back to the code and this is our admin profile and below this um yes okay so inside this card body I will display it okay so I just want to display the message so the w what we have to do is that simple if st if statement we have to write okay so that is paste it and uh, but I mean inside php codes okay close php so just simple if statement okay whether it is there or not okay so that is right if session is set okay is set means it is done so session is there or not there that is null it should echo okay echo dollar underscore session what success okay cc -E -S -S success so that success means um, this success means at the code this value okay so copy this copy and paste it over here right so paste and paste okay so after pasting so after echoing i am going to unset this 
dollar session so when it reloads the page it will unset the value okay so that is done okay so this is for one thing that is uh, to set it right so i just want to be this in uh h2 tag okay h2 tags okay so done and let's see the output for this let's save reload and let's add the profile so funda2 okay g at g dot com password 1 2 3 4 oops 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 let's save it oh, what happened okay g at c save this and it did not give the message because um, let's check because the session is not started uh, here okay so let's let's start the session at the top okay so session I in session start okay so now it will start the session right so admin profile added it is telling okay so admin profile is added so when I re refresh the page it goes off okay so admin profile did not add so when I click on for the password and wrong password so see here I'll show you there is no data in this now I mean now for the we will add one wrong detail so let's click on add okay so funda 4 way that g dot c 1234 123 I'm going to add wrong 6 9 save it came to right page but it did not show the error message okay and here it did not save the value also okay so reloaded also did not save so we want to show the message so guys what we have to do is that go to the code and take this status status okay so let's take that status value and copy this code once again copy and uh, or else you can just do one thing copy this and just paste below and just tell that this status value copy and paste status 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 okay done you can use the class is equal to bg info okay done so let's see undefined online 72 that is success undefined index where is that on line 72 okay okay so just copy this paste it over your status status okay oops status save it reload the page and let's add the wrong input okay save save and you are getting password and confirm password does not match okay so this is how we do with the registration complete thing okay so in next video we will be learning how to uh, display the data into this and edit the data edit the admin profile okay so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share